uh, Mitch the divorce he said he wanted. Did you mean the annulment? Divorce. You may want to rethink testifying against me. Are you threatening me? Is Sam really dead? Yeah, apparently he was shot. Oh, God, no. stand and tell the truth so that I can get my divorce. Then I can take Mitch for all I can get and it'll be over. But you won't be telling the truth. Chris, I did sleep with him. I know that you're having a hard time accepting that, but I'm not gonna let Mitch just take all my family's money because you don't want me to admit what happened. The hearing hasn't started good. What are you doing here? I told you not to come. I think you can talk some sense into her. I'll try. Christian. Hey. Jen, what are you doing here? Looking for my dad. Is he here yet? He's got to get me out of this ridiculous community service thing. You, you haven't talked to your mom? No, not, not since last night. Why? Judge. What? What's going on? Look, you got to talk to your mom. Right away. to the scene of the crime. I, it was Sam. I shot Sam! Well, I tried to prepare you last night before your daughter interrupted us. You knew. You had me shoot the wrong man. I, this is the only man that ever cared about me. He's the father of my children! It's going to be fine. It is never going to be fine. It is never, ever going to be fine again. Listen to me. No. Listen to no. me. Hold still and look at me. You shot the wrong man. It was not your fault. Now, if we are discreet, this will all go away. All the evidence will point directly at Todd Manning. Don't you understand? I shot Sam. I have to tell the police everything. Have you heard from Todd? No. Come in. Does this have to do with Sam? Oh, come on. You don't think that Todd shot him. You've got Todd's gun with a silencer on it, a bloody glove from his apartment, the message he left on Sam's answering machine. Here, say. Victor Lord's ring. You okay? Fine. Yeah, look, why don't you do yourself a favor? Take some time, okay? No, I can do thank all you. This. No, thanks. The only thing that's keeping me going is finding Sam's killer. That mean you don't think that uh, Todd shot Sam? It just doesn't make any sense. Actually, it makes too much sense. Todd's gun, then there's the gloves, then there's the ring. It's just, it's all so convenient. Hey, you two can stop debating the evidence against Todd. As of five minutes ago, we got a confession. Thanks, kiddo. So what's up with you? Well, I'm just trying to calm my nerves a little bit. I'm going to help Natalie testify that she slept with that creep, Mitch Lawrence. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Natalie slept with Mitch Lawrence? I didn't think she'd go through with that. No, well, not the palace. It was on her wedding night in Vegas, you know, the newlywed thing. 
Man, that's creepy. Yeah, but the good news is, is that that snake is going to divorce. It's not going to be an annulment, so she's going to get the big payout. Now I get it. So how much are you hit Natalie up for to testify? Shows what you know. I'm doing this strictly out of material love, okay? That's maternal. All right, whatever, whatever. I'm gonna help Natalie testify. And she's gonna help me get this beauty salon going. Waiter! Where is the damn champagne? Oh, 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 oh. Hold on there, cowboy. This is a hotel, not a rodeo. Oh, lighten up for a day. I'm celebrating. Gretel. Agreed to a divorce. No strings attached. I hung in tough, Renee, like I always do. Gretel folded like a tent. Oh, ask her yourself, Renee. Oh, honey, I ordered the champagne. Don't blow it, Ace. That's so unbecoming. So, uh, Renee, obviously, he told you. Yes, he did. The question is why. Well, I'd rather have my self-esteem than even one cent of his money. I'm the one. You all know that by now. Call it a crime of passion or insanity or whatever you want. It doesn't matter now. Ever since Marty Saybrook, I've tried to get my anger under control, but I can't. Maybe it took meeting my dear departed father to convince me I really am Victor Lord's son and there's no escaping that legacy. When I saw Sam with Blair, I lost it. I killed a good man and I'll figure out how to live with that, or I won't, not your problem. But don't bother looking for me, you'll never find me. The consolation prize, I'm out of Landview and out of your lives forever. Oh, man. Nah. Typed, not signed. What, where did you find this? Todd's desk, after a search of the son's offices. Don't believe a word of it. Why not? Number one, Todd's always been about self-justification and denial, not confession. And two, he refers to Marty as Marty Saybrook. He would have said Marty. He knows perfectly well we know who he's referring to. Three, he claims to... Sam was a good man. He was a lot more to him than that. He meant the world to him, especially when he was younger. And four, it's too pat. It's just too easy. But a man commits a crime of passion. You've got a question in his uh, state of mind. Now, Tom's always been unpredictable. Why not an unpredictable act like confessing? Are you going to talk to Vicky? Yeah, yeah, that's next on my list. Excuse me. I figure if anybody is going to hear from Todd, it'd be her. All right, look. I've got a hearing to go to. You keep me posted, all right? OK. Yeah. You coming? Oh, no, I'm going to go home and check on uh, Matthew. Mm. Todd didn't do it. He didn't kill Sam. Maybe he knows who did. Maybe he's covering for them, but he didn't do it, though. I know. It doesn't sit right with me either. So if Todd didn't shoot Sam, is he protecting someone or is someone framing him? Uh, Lindsay. Uh, it was supposed to be Troy. Uh, it was supposed to be Troy. I know. I know. <laughs> I know you thought it was supposed to be Troy. It was supposed to be Troy. And I'm very sorry about Sam. I am not going to prison because of you. Listen, no one is going to prison as long as you can keep yourself together. But if you don't get yourself together, you will spend the rest of your life in a cell or worse. And besides that, your daughter will hate you for the rest of her life and your son will hate you even more. But Lindsay, Lindsay, I've protected you. All the evidence points to Todd Manning. It's all right. Uh, but he didn't do it. He didn't 
to deny it. And what if he has an alibi? He won't have an alibi, and he will not be able to deny it. Todd has left Landview permanently. What does that mean? Mom, where are you? Pull yourself together. Uh, where is Dad? What happened? What are you doing here? Get out! I was just telling your mother that she can get through anything. As long as she stays strong. Good night. Get through anything? What, is, what does that mean? Get through what? I've been trying to find you. I've left messages everywhere. Well, I left myself at home. Mom, tell me what's going on. What happened? <laughs> it's your father. What? He was shot last night. He's dead. No, 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 no. He can't. No, it's not true. I'm so sorry. That's not true. Don't say that. I know you loved him. I'm sorry. I just was calling him, and I was heard his voice on the voicemail. And I need my daddy. I'm so sorry. I don't understand. I don't understand. He's always so happy and kind. Of, why would why would somebody do that? Why would somebody do that? Please. The police think it was it was Todd Benning. Oh, yes, you've heard. Yeah, one of my reporters called. Come in. Thanks. Bo, oh, it's so awful. I have to tell you in a way. I'm glad that Ben doesn't have to deal with this. Vicky, I need to know if you've heard from Todd. Now, is he a suspect? No, Bo, he can't be. Right now, all of the evidence points in his direction. <sighs> Mommy, look! <gasps> My soccer team won second place in the league. You! Congratulations. Mm, I'm so proud of you. Look at that. Coach Henderson said I should get a trophy, too. Of course you should. Very proud of you, sweetheart. Look at that, a match set. This one's even bigger than the last one. I wish Daddy could say it. I bet he could. Because he's in heaven, right? Absolutely. Can I go show Mary Ann? Yes. She's in the kitchen. Your daddy's so proud of you. I just saw Jen. She was asking for her dad. What? She doesn't know. I, I told her that she should talk to her mom. I've read the news. I assume the hearing will be continued. Why not take the time to rethink what you're doing? Why should I? Because you're lying. I suggest that we just agree to the annulment today and get this over with. Well, forget it. I slept with my husband. I'm getting a divorce. All rise. In the matter of Lawrence versus Lawrence, the Honorable Judge Barbara Fitzwater presiding. Please be seated. Is everyone present? Evangeline Williamson, Your Honor, for Respondent Mitch Lawrence. Where is your client? I'm sure he'll be here momentarily. I have been made aware of the uh, terrible tragedy that's befallen Mr. Rappaport. So I'm assuming you haven't had sufficient time to uh, secure the representation, and I'm prepared to postpone. Um, that won't be necessary, Your Honor. I'll be representing myself. Oh, I strongly advise against that, Mrs. Lawrence. Uh, important rights are at stake here. And I know exactly what I'm doing, Your Honor. Against my better judgment, we will proceed. 
So, as stated, the legal issues hinge on whether the marriage was consummated. Uh, we'll hear from you first, Mrs. Lawrence. Hopefully, Mr. Lawrence will be here by then to give his own version of the facts. I'm but here, he... Your Honor, and I am prepared to swear that I have never known my wife in a biblical sense. Todd confronted Mitch Lawrence with a gun in his hands, fully intending to kill him, and he couldn't do it. He couldn't bring himself to pull the trigger. How do you know that? Because he admitted it to me. Sam admitted the same thing to me. I mean, if he couldn't kill Mitch Lawrence, he, he really couldn't kill Sam. Okay, then. Where is he? Well, I don't know that. I wish I did. I, 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 I hate to do this. I have to go. Natalie's divorce hearing is today, and I'm already late. I'm sorry. Okay. Blair? Look, Vicki's right. Todd did not kill Sam. Well, how do you explain the typewritten confession that we found in his office? Confession? What? He, he wouldn't confess. Not unless he was forced to, Bo. Or unless he was trying to protect someone. Now, do you have any idea who that might be? He wasn't trying to protect anybody because he didn't do it. He's being framed, Bo. Framed by who? I don't know. But I'm telling you right now, he didn't do it. I can't believe he's gone. I am so sorry. He was my hero. I, I, I know. He was the best. I know. Oh he was my dad. Oh, God, I know. What, how, could, how could someone hate him so much? I mean, how could someone do that when it, he would never hurt anybody? I have to... I have to see. I have to go. What, you can. No, I have to say goodbye. Where is he? I don't know. Where is he? I need to see him. I need to see him. I need to get his just to figure out of my life like this. Where is he? I can't believe you wouldn't want to see him. You're late, Mr. Lawrence. I apologize, Your Honor. Your Honor, I'd like a moment with my client. Very well. But be quick. Please don't put Natalie through this. Jessica, this isn't my idea. All I want is a quiet annulment. I mean, it's Natalie's who's insisting on this public display. What can I do? Natalie, this is your last chance. Don't do this. Thank you, Your Honor. We're ready to proceed. Good. Mrs. Lawrence, um, the bailiff will swear you in. You've testified that the marriage was consummated in Las Vegas after the ceremony, correct? Yes. But you originally requested an annulment, claiming the marriage had not been consummated. Yeah, well, I just didn't want to admit what happened, that's all. Can you tell us the name of the hotel where you allegedly slept together? Um, the Excelsior. Describe the room for us. It was nice. Describe the sexual encounter for the court. Were you both naked? Miss Lawrence? Again, when you and your husband made love, were you naked? It was your wedding night. Surely you undressed. Yes, we did. Did your husband undress you, or did you undress for him? I don't know. It was a little of both. Did you shower together? Yes. After you'd made love? Yes. You slept with your husband, then showered together, so you must be familiar with his body, correct? It was just that one time. I mean, I, I mean, I'm not all that familiar. 
I'm referring to a distinguishing mark which you could hardly miss. A tattoo. I'd like you to describe it for us. It's an easy question for someone who claims to have showered and slept with a man. Simply describe the tattoo on your husband's body. A tattoo my client is willing to show the court. All this witness has to do is describe it. Did you find out whose prints were on the gun? No. Uh, I was just headed downstairs. I'll check with forensics. Okay, all right. Sorry for your loss. Thank you. I want to see him. Excuse me? Yeah, I want to see my father. Are you sure about that? Yes. We both do. Right, Mom? You know, it might be a good idea to wait until he goes to the funeral parlor. No, I, I can't explain it. I just, I really, really need to see my dad, okay? Please. testify for Natalie. I can prove that she slept with that perv over there. Well, it will be up to the courts if you testify or not. For now, you are to take a seat and keep quiet. Answer the question, please, Miss Lawrence. Your Honor, it's obvious this witness has never seen the cross. Yes, I have. Really? Perhaps you could tell the court which side it's on. Take a guess, Miss Lawrence. You've got a 50-50 chance. The left side. The left side. I'm impressed. You remember a cross tattooed on your husband's left side when he has no cross anywhere on his body. Your Honor, I move for summary judgment in favor of my client. Not without verification. Bailiff, take Mr. Lawrence into my chambers and examine him, please. Unless, Miss Lawrence, you are willing to accept an annulment right here and now. I was scared. I, I had no way to support myself, Renee. I, I, I didn't have anywhere to go. So you figured you'd try a blackmail? You That's know, I nice. would put a little sock in it if I were you. I could change my mind about getting you this divorce. I'm done. Good. I'm proud of you, Ray. I think you've made the right decision, and I think that you'll have plenty of good opportunities out there. Well, I, I was offered a job to work at the community center. I counseled the kids who come in there. So, Renee, what do you think? Maybe we could try to become friends again. I think it's a step in the right direction. Well, I better go and file the divorce papers. This sorry excuse for a husband blows it for himself. Uh. Oh, no, no, no. Asa, I wouldn't do that if I were you. What is with you, Renee? Telling that money grub and no account loser. You're proud of her. I am. She's trying to pull her life back together uh, again. And I always had the feeling that, or at least hoped, that she was basically a good person. You, on the other hand. <laughs> Boy. You can bring out the worst in people sometimes. I guess I should be thankful, though. Never brought out the worst in me. Well, 
Because you really never had anything bad for me to bring out. You're the only wife I ever had who never changed. And the only one who never started to love my money more than me. I need an answer, Mrs. Lawrence. Do I have to send Mr. Lawrence in with the bailiff or not? No. You will accept an annulment? Yes, Your Honor. The annulment is hereby granted. We are not finished, young lady. Do you realize, I mean, what a waste of valuable time you have put this court through? Not to mention the taxpayer's money? Or that you lied under oath? Do you appreciate the penalty of perjury? Your Honor, I'm sorry, but Mrs. if you... Mrs. Davidson, take your seat. Mr. Lawrence, the court is not unfamiliar with your history in this town. Not with the pending felony charges against you. Well, I'm quite certain they will be dismissed, Your Honor. Huh. Keep a good thought, Mr. Lawrence. Good thought. And notwithstanding your confidence, I intend to impose no penalty on the petitioner other than court costs. Miss Balsam, do you still wish to take the stand? Oh, no, I'm doing fine here. In fact, there's someplace else I gotta go to. You may step down. Case dismissed. All rise. Hey, did hey. you see Vicky? Yeah. Yeah, and Blair was there. And there is definitely something she's not telling us. So, uh, is there something you're not telling me? Hmm? Lindsay and Jen were by here a while ago. Mm -hmm. They wanted to see Sam. And seeing him was a lot harder on Lindsay than it was on Jen. Well, of course. I mean, you say goodbye to someone that you've loved for years. Father of your children. Mitch Lawrence shot Sam. Well, how do you know? I know because he called me on my cell phone right after you left this morning. He said something about how bad things happen to good people, and I should think twice about testifying against him, and he also told me to watch my children very carefully. 
Now, I know that he did it. And now he's planted evidence to make it look like Todd did it, and that's why Todd's disappeared. Okay, you gotta go to the police, Blair. D did you not hear a word that I said, Troy? He said that he was gonna threaten, he was threatening my children! I understand that, Blair, but you, you gotta trust that Bo knows how to handle this. Just talk to oh, Bo. Yeah, yeah, and if I talk to Bo, then Mitch will find out. And if you don't, then Bo's gonna be looking for the wrong person, Blair. Oh, God. Look, do you... do you have any idea where Todd is? No. Blair. No, I don't. I just have a very, very sick feeling that Todd thinks that I shot Sam. He thinks that I shot him, and now that he's disappeared to take the heat off of me. Now, he's done it before. He's tried to cover for me, like when I shot Max. Who are you calling? I'm gonna call Cassie. I'm gonna have to take the kids as far away from here, someplace where they're safe. Okay. After you're done, we're driving to the police. No, I'm we gonna are take not. Blair. Yes. No, no. I know what I have to do. Oh, Blair, you are making a big no. mistake here. Troy, I know what I have to do, and I'm gonna do it. So just go to the hospital, do whatever you have to do. I'm gonna be fine. May I have a word with you, please? Not now, not ever. Jessica, I hope that someday you'll realize that I'm not the monster that everyone's made me out to be. <laughs> In fact, as a show of goodwill, I will pick up the court fees as the judge ordered. What? With my family's money that you stole? No, that is money that I rightfully inherited. Not yet. That will that you forced my father to sign is not going to hold up in court. Well, I wouldn't be so sure about that, Vicky. I have a feeling that today's victory is merely a sign of things to come. So, how'd the court thing go? Lousy. Natalie was lying all over the place. I think she's behind bars. Which they almost put me there, too. I might as well just kiss my dreams goodbye. Well, I wouldn't be too quick about that, Mom. I happen to know a certain billionaire who's about to become a bachelor again. Yeah, what good is that going to do me? What am I going to be? Wife, number, whatever? Well, maybe. You're a survivor, and you're sharp, and he knows it. Rich people are always looking for partners. Hey, Asa. I wanted to talk to you about a little business preposition. Get lost. Hey, check it out. See this hair on my head? <laughs> hey, man, it takes talent. A lot of sculpting ability. So, uh, you know, check it out. And um, I got this lease on a beauty salon, and, you know, whoever goes into partnership with me is going to make a bundle. So, um, why don't you sign on the dotted line? Look, I'm trying to have a quiet drink without any damn females wrecking it. So please, let me be. Hey, just think about it, okay? needs a little softening, that's all. I don't know how to say goodbye, Sam. Because I don't want to say goodbye. It just hurts too much. And I got a... I got a heartache that's... I don't think it's ever going to go away. I miss you. And Matthew misses you so much. Matthew, it's that precious life that we created together. It's wonderful. Adorable child. Who reminds me more and more of you every day. He's your legacy, Sam. He's 
a living message that you sent into a time you, you're not going to see. I promise you. I'll take care of him. And I'll protect him. And I will treasure him. Always. I'm sorry. I didn't think that you would take it so badly. I was just so terrified that something would happen to you. That's why I called Daddy, because I... I thought that you might even commit suicide. And now he's the one that's gone. That's what I should have done. I should have killed myself. You all right? I want to talk about it, okay? Let's just talk about finding Sam's killer. I still can't think of a reason why Blair would shoot Sam. Uh, maybe she totally lost it. You know, she did shoot Max in the back once upon a time. Temporary insanity? Yeah, just saying enough long enough to put a silencer on. You're right, it's a long shot. Never mind. Just got the forensic report on the murder weapon. Makes interesting reading. One set of fingerprints. Identified? Blair's. You sick freak. Blair. I hope you rot in hell for killing Sam Rappaport. And if you think that you are going to intimidate me, you better think again. Stay tuned for scenes from the next One Life to Live. Next One Life to Live. I won't feel better until they find Daddy's killer. Until they're punished. Claire didn't do it, but she's hiding something. What's she hiding? How far would you go to keep me from testifying against you? Blair confronts Mitch about what happened to Todd 